saw this rather unusual engine on eBay and I thought, well, that's intriguing. Made an offer on it and got it. And here it is. Uh, what's interesting about this is that it's obviously a rotary valve as the uh, valving is obviously in this uh, block here that the main crankshaft runs through. And I haven't had it apart yet, so I haven't had a look at the valve in arrangement, how, how the guy's done it, who, who's built this. But yeah, uh, it's just it's just something that's a little bit different. So we'll, uh, we'll I'm going to run it on air because I don't know whether there's you know what the arrangement is in here, whether that whether there's anything that steam might affect in here. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to initially run it on air, but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll give it a go and then we'll take it apart and have a look inside. Okay, so I've got the little rotary valve engine connected up to my compressor, so. Be prepared for the racket. Uh, that's actually running on quite a low pressure. I got most of the pressure bleeding out of this tube. So that's probably just 5 psi, something like that. So it runs quite well on low pressure. So I need to take it apart and see what's inside this valve chest here to see exactly how it's working. Let's turn the compressor off. So yeah, obviously it runs fine, so we need to find out what's inside now. Okay, so it's fairly simple to, to strip the little engine down. There's a Allen screw, grub screw in the uh, steel flywheel, and then you just remove the con roll. It's a nut and a screw and a nut. And that allows you to withdraw the valve uh, which is of course also the crankshaft and it's and it's fairly simple and very effective it's it's simply got a couple of flats milled into it which line up with the two ports so basically when it's let's close in on that a bit yeah so when it's like that this pipe lines up with that hole or at least it is allowed to vent to that hole which is the obviously exhaust and when it rotates 180 degrees and it's like that then this pipe which is obviously the air inlet it lines up with this pipe and that allows air to travel down those down that pipe so it's a very very simple but effective uh, system i'm not sure how well this would handle would work under steam um, i'm very tempted to try it um, obviously it is an aluminium uh, a block and it also looks like it's a it's that steel or aluminium piston so yeah I'm not sure how it would would operate under steam but yes this is quite an in, interesting and very simple design and, and it works well as you saw it running under very low, very low pressure so yeah interesting stuff well I had to think about this little rotary valve engine and I'm not happy about putting steam through it, particularly when you've got a steel shaft in a aluminium block. You mix steam with that. That's not a good recipe. So I uh, I'm intrigued by, enough by this that I think that it, it would make a great steam engine. It really would. So I'm going to make one or well, I'm going to have a go at making one anyway. And I'm going to make it out of brass. So the block will be brass. It will have brass. Uh, crankshaft valve shaft it will have a brass cylinder piston so it will all be brass so it will be absolutely fine with the steam no problem at all and also it will allow me to solder in the the, the pipes which obviously you'll be you, you'll need i'm going to assume he he's just used a little block type probably to fix these pipes in place so yeah we're gonna have a go to uh, gonna have a go at making making one um <coughs> what i have done with this is i've i've had a fiddle around with it and when i took it apart i've i've got the ports to line up a little bit better by using washers uh, and all the rest of it and it will now run really slowly um, turn the compressor on now if you look at the two compressor so this one is feeding this one is feeding the actual engine this one is almost completely open so 90% of the air is coming out of this pipe, not going into the engine. So 
that will run on almost no pressure at all. That's enough of that, it's really loud. <coughs> yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, this will about do it for this particular engine, and I'll uh, get on and start making one out of brass. But I hope you enjoy this uh, little video on this rather unusual rotary valve engine, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.